this is Thunder E from borderwork.com and today we'll be showing you uh, Windows 7.8 on the Nokia Lumia 900. So this is our Lumia 900 as you can see it differs uh, from the new Lumia 920 because there is no micro USB port at the bottom and the 3.5 mm jack and the SIM slots are on the top. If you can see this is our 920 so this is running Windows 8 you can see the clear difference there. it's also a slightly thicker device so anyway let's get down to the nitty-gritty here so windows 7.8 brings uh slow features uh most notably of course is the star screen and of course you, you can you should be getting the update now through the zoom software if not you can force the up update which is simple but kind of a hard process it still took me a while to do it um but uh, i will post the uh, instructions for how to do the forced update so here is windows 7.8 of course i am going to zoom in a little bit here you can see and this is the first thing you notice is the new start screen you can customize your start screen in any way possible super large to regular size or ultra small so you have a new start screen here uh, which is pretty much the main thing you get with Windows uh, 7.8. Uh, a couple of things you will find is that Nokia has added some additives in terms of uh, software. So you have software like uh, this, which is called, um, if I'm not mistaken, that's called Contact. Um, sorry, Counter, not Contact. And what Counter does, is it shows you how to manage your usage. So instead of you having data sense, Nokia's provided something that can, does the same thing. Uh, you, you, you can um, check your usage on calls, messaging, and data. You can actually set your limits for each one. And you can set your limits based on days of the month if you want to. And you can add uh, things to set limits on SMS. How many SMS messages? I could set limit to 500 and save that if I wanted to. And so on and so forth. So I could do that. and that would be set that way so you can see 500 sms messages uh set as well as my data and so on and so forth you also have uh some more nokia apps so if we go into the nokia collection uh you see of course you do have news the city lens contact share uh, a lot of games nokia trailers pulse beta uh, nokia maps uh, photo beam is also included uh, cinemagraph is not uh, and so on and so forth. So you do have a few things there, but in terms of Windows 8 software itself, uh, your main big difference is your start screen, which is highly customizable for you. Going to the settings, um, you still have your regular settings here for your ringtones, your themes, uh, a few more colors have been added. So you do have a larger array of colors and the themes there, which is nice instead of just a few colors. So instead of me doing blue, I can go with this nasty looking brown color here. Actually, that's not bad. Um, it doesn't look brown to you, but trust me, it looks pretty good. Um, also, the option of taking a screenshot is not possible. So you can't do that. You can't take a screenshot. So the option isn't there. Just to show you guys that it isn't. If you're wondering if you could take a screenshot, that uh, option is not possible. Um, but then again, internet sharing is still there, your lock and wallpaper, location, cellular, battery save, um, uh, find my phone, kids corner is also not included. Um, so you still have sort of the same feel of uh, Windows 7.5. So that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. It's all board at work with two O's. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.